Ten thirty in the morning. Ah, uh, and it's time to bring her home, man. Brittany Griner, man. She back. She is back. How do you feel about that, man? Are you excited? Are you happy? <laughs> Brittany Griner is finally home. Thoughts about her returning? Will she ever hoop again? She can't hoop no more. You know how? It, it, you mean if will she ever go back over there to go hoop again? That or just hoop? Because the emotional. The emotional toll that I feel like this is probably taking on her, man, I think is is uh is serious. I, I'm I, I answer the the, the the honest question. I think for sure she's going to hoop again. That that when you a hooper, you a hooper. I think yes, it was emotional trauma, uh, and and she didn't know if she was ever coming home. But at the end of the day, I think this is one of those reflective things where she knows I got to make better decisions because. Regardless of how long they kept her and how wrong it was, she put herself in that predicament mm -hmm. at the end of the day. True story. And so I think she would make better decisions from it. I think she's going to learn from it. I think she gonna, it's going to change her mindset about things. Maybe she probably even stop putting the thing down. You know, I don't know. She may say, I'm done because this put me in there for that long. I don't want to do well, it. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you, you was without it for 276 days. Right. So, you know, you may not even – but, now nah, I think she's going to come home and get big high. See, that's, that, that's the that, – I'm just listening, man. You go I, through I, that. I, I, I get what you're you saying. You probably got to come home and you – No, you don't. See, if you <laughs> – I, I truly feel like everything happened for a reason, and I think that was her reason to, like, hey, let this go because this is holding you back. No, I feel like it's her reason to say I ain't traveling with it no more, but I ain't letting it go. Yeah, see, that's the bigger picture. I think the bigger picture is Because it like maybe – it. maybe I'm trying to tell you, listen – because it has moved into the medical field of it now and not just being used as recreational thing, I feel that she's going to come home. And this, this, again, to me, is allegedly. She's going to come home. Or right. she is home. Yeah. Yeah, she's home. Um, she's going to have to go see some people. Counseling, for sure. Counseling and, and get through that. And with that counseling, I think the medicatedness of, of it, is where it is. It's, so it's not that she's going to be doing it as a recreational use. I think it's just going to be a med a medicate a medicational use, and I think that's where that's where it's going to reside. I think because we we don't know what she went through. I we don't. can only assume. I don't. And we and 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 as Americans and as people, we gonna assume the absolute worst. The fact that she's breathing, living, and healthy right. for the most part right. is, is good for us to see, like, good. okay, good. Really good. But overall, what she was going through, she cut her, she cut her locks, bro. She ain't got the locks no more. I, I feel it. I think you feel she like, had to cut her hair. Though. I, that's what I'm saying. But for somebody that since we've seen Brittany Griner from when she was in high school winning a dunk contest, she had hair. And it has grown and grown and grown to where it well was at. And she had to cut her locks. Just imagine the emotional, like, I, look, that was, look, you know? Like, I hear all that. I hear all that. But see, it's, it's, here's my thing. Like, I get the emotional aspect. When it happens and it's not your fault, I feel like that's more traumatic than when you are the responsible and you're the culprit of yeah. it. It, it, she didn't. She, but she, she didn't she, feel that it was that bad, big of a deal. I little, understand little, that. Little, but, but little that's hash, that, little, that's little that, oil. That, but here's the thing, though. I'm not. Bit. I, I'm not saying them keeping her there was right. But again, she put herself in that situation. So True. everything that she went through, yeah, I truly feel like it was for a bigger purpose. True. Now, if she come back and still doing the same thing, then she may have for, missed out on a lesson mm -hmm. that was in the blessing. Oh, you know what I'm uh, saying? He, he, and, no, I'm just being 100. percent Like I, know. I, I just know. Like, if you're gonna come back, if, yeah. What, what, I think the bigger picture was to show you you don't need that. You can go 276 days without using it. Yeah. That means you're stronger without it. Number one, because you have to <laughs> mentally get stronger in there. But without it, because usually that's a cope. That's our coping cope mechanism. mechanism. True. So we re rely on those things. Yeah. And I get it. She's definitely going to need some counseling, and she's going to need some Lord up in there. She's going to need some God to be like, look, I need you to help me get right. Yeah, I mean, emotionally, physically, all that good stuff. Because a lot of times, look, I get it. Sometimes you gotta you use these certain things to help you deal with the pain. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But the greatest healing yeah. of them all is the man above. So yes. I. 
I'm not look. I'm not gonna sit up here and paint no picture like she's some saint and she didn't she didn't put herself in that predicament. But I'm grateful that she's here. What I'm mad at is that people are trying to. Oh yeah. It, this is what I get mad at. When every time something happens for a black person, it's automatically compared to somebody some of of our counterparts. It's well they didn't do that for this white dude and that was a. Uh, a military uh, general, dot, 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 dot. It's always the comparison. You know how many times that it happened for you guys? Like when, when, they, when they go to bat for you guys? And we get one in a million, yeah. and it's all of a sudden all hell break loose. People get, that is my problem that I have with the media and just the world. Itself. And I get it. I know why. But it sucks because it's like, and I bring it back even to, to reality of what I dealt with. When we did something for our black students at our school, we it was a, called a Harambe retreat. It was a, a, a retreat for incoming freshmen and transfers. It was to create this experience, to, to create community. Yeah, It worked out amazing. We had okay. 30, 40 people. Come, that's a, that's right? a lot. That's three, a lot. Two, three days before living in the dorms, we went to we did a lot of stuff. We did went to the movies. We did uh they did like a mini step show, the barbecue, all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. The the same year, all the white folks, and I ain't I'm, I gotta be honest, they was like, no, nah, that's racism. <laughs> that's what? that's segregation. Y'all doing something for black people and not doing it for everybody else. But everybody else. Has a lot of representation at our university. Yeah. And there's only less than 2%. Yeah. There's not even, there's only 500 total African Americans at Fresno State. Out of so 20 some thousand. So the reason Think we did that. it is to increase the numbers to get to where y'all at. And they had a problem with it. And that is my biggest issue. I'm so happy that she is here, but I'm so mad that every time a black person gets something mm -hmm. that's beneficial, yeah. In somebody else's eyes, mm -hmm. it's an issue. Man, that's a lot, babe. I'm just saying. But here's a, here's a, here's my issue. What's the issue? The sad part about this situation, it's been our own people. Ooh. I'm talking on my social medias, Facebooks, Twitters. People are mad that Brittany Griner got swapped out, traded for. That's what we're talking about, trades. Traded for a Russian arms dealer. And people are mad. Like, mad, mad. Like, oh, we going to trade Brittany Griner for a Russian arms dealer? Like, what are we thinking? We just going to let him back loose. So I'm like, what? But then we don't even talk about the trade before. Well, we traded a Marine for some drug smuggler. So in my head, I said, look, this is just one of those situations where they did two separate trades. Right. One high profile for some ball high, a, a low profile. And right. then we did a low quote unquote profile for a high profile. And that's just, that's the reality of it. That's the situation. Because I'm telling people, I'm saying, it's easy for everybody to say like, oh, if it was somebody regular, would they had did that for us? No. No, it wouldn't. That's just how this works. Yeah. When you regular, you don't get the same benefits and privileges in regular walks of life. You don't. You don't. So why all of a sudden now, because you you regular, you expect that if you over there in Russia doing something dumb, the USA going to do everything to get you home? Nah, bro, that ain't how it work. I wouldn't expect that treatment right. at all. No. So, and then the flip side is, is pretend that that's your daughter right. over there in Russia. Right. Pretend that that's your wife, right. sister, mom. Right. Would you give a damn how they get her home? Mm -hmm. I don't care. As long as you come home. I wouldn't give two dams about how they got her home. As long as my daughter, wife, sister, auntie is home. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. And it's easy for us to be like, oh, we could have just left Brittany Griner over there. Yeah, I. Right. It's yet like nobody, like, you, you You sit there and talk like y'all fully understand what's going on. Like, I've never met so many politicians. Right. That are not politicians. Right. Everybody got something to say, but you ain't even you ain't even trying to step into the political world to get into the nitty gritty of it to really know what is going on. Everybody, all of a sudden now, everybody is is uh got master's degrees in foreign trade policies. Right. All of a sudden, everybody knows like, oh yeah, we should have did this and why we couldn't give up that. Man, get up out of here. Look, look, man. At the <laughs> end of the day, everybody got an opinion. 
It's like what they say. Everybody is, is opinions are like a holes. Everybody got one. Man, I hope you got one. Uh, if Whoa. you don't got one, that'd be a problem. But what? I'm just saying. How I'm did, just. I don't know. I'm just. Why saying. would you I, have one? I don't know. I'm just saying this man, that I, every I, that's time. I, said, I feel I like every Saturday look, he surprises me. I don't want to say that what everybody got one and people don't. <laughs> but why would you? One. Why would you not have one? I don't know. In the world we living in today, you'd be surprised. Cr- this but at the crazy. end of the day, I'm so happy Britney's back what? home. Uh, I, 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 she's going to need some a lot of support, like emotional support, and it's going to have to be a transition. It's it's a it's a new transition that she's going to have to get back because she's been in prison, bro. And and you know that those that prison over there ain't ain't hey, no man, joke. Listen, 